home. Don't just stand there. I can't afford to heat the entire province. Is Georgie home? Uh, no, she's not. She's at trick riding practice. Won't be home for an hour or so. Could you give this to her for me, please, sir? Hey, you got a name? Stephen. Well, is there a message I should pass along, Stephen? I gotta go. Thank you, sir. Hey. Hey. Um, is it okay if I sit here? You better not. They're already talking about us. Well, I don't care about that. <laughs> so, thanks for the cookies. It was really nice. You don't have to sit here just because you feel sorry for me. I don't. Yes, you do. What you did the other day, sticking up for me, it was really cool. But you should get back to your seat. I would pick her. Stephen, wait! Get back Georgie, what are you doing? Look, I know what it's like to be the new kid, and you're not a loser, so don't let the other kids make you feel that way. It's sort of hard not to. I'm coming! Look, whenever I'm having a bad day, I always hop on my horse and go for a ride, and that always makes me feel better. I have a horse, too. You do? Uh-huh. His name's Fox. That's him there. Just a sec! Wow, he's beautiful. Yeah. But I don't get to ride him that often. How come? He lives with my dad in Manitoba. Well, you should come over to Heartland. We've got tons of horses. Maybe we could go riding. Really? Yeah. I gotta go. Hey. Hey, what's up? Nothing much. Are you still riding? Only when I visit my dad. I really miss it. Do you remember my horse, Phoenix? Of course. He's the jumper, right? Yeah, yeah. You see, I've been focusing a lot on my trick riding lately, and I don't have much time to ride in. I need someone to exercise him on a regular basis. Are you asking me? Yeah. 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 OK, so first I'll just take these jumps down for you. What are you talking about? He said jumper, isn't he? Yeah, but he gets pretty wound up. I mean, not with me. But you just, you got to go easy on him, OK? I don't want you to risk hurting him. Or I guess hurting yourself. I think it would be better if you just Rode around the edge of the ring. But we could set up some cavalettis if you want. No, you don't have to do that. OK, here, hop on. OK, so he's got a pretty soft mouth. And be careful with your reins. But don't give him his head, or he will take off. You've got to show him his boss. OK, OK, I get it. Good boy. jumps. They aren't even high. And I know what I'm doing. Yeah, but maybe on a regular horse, but Phoenix is special, OK? I don't want him developing any bad habits. Like what? It doesn't matter like what, OK? I just want you to ride the horse like I told you to. You mean just around and around while you yell at me? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Steven, hey. So do you want to come over and ride Phoenix after school today? Well, I've got a lot of homework, and yeah, sorry. I don't think I'll be able to ride him for you anymore. What? I thought you said you wanted to. I did, and I really like Phoenix, but, you know, riding a horse, it's supposed to be fun, and you made it totally not fun. Sorry. Steven, I'm really glad you decided to come back. It's no problem. And I promise I'm not going to tell you what to do or how to jump or anything, OK? I'm just going to go and do my homework and let you have some fun. OK, do whatever. Maybe you could stick around for a bit in case I knock off a few rails. Yeah, yeah, sure. OK, go ahead. <clears throat> so 
So, uh, I think that friend you invited is here. You should go talk to him. <sighs> okay, okay, but remember, he's not my boyfriend. Hi. Hey. That's why I'm glad you could come. Me too. My mom drove me. Cool. I'll leave. Okay. I will love you. Oh, look, there's Steven. I think he wants to be with you. you. <clears throat> Would you like to cut in? Uh, yeah, sure. Thanks. I was just... You that thing you do with the stars, that was pretty cool. Thanks, I, um, I found it on the internet when I was looking at my astronomy project. I got your message. What do you want to talk to me about? I'll give you two a minute. Come on. Come on, Matisse. You know the Sydney Hawking stance? Yeah. Well, are you, are you going? I don't know. Maybe. Are you? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's kind of dumb, but I think it'd be a good laugh. So I was wondering um, if you wanted to go with me. Like, only if you want... Yes. I mean... Yeah, that'd be totally cool. Okay. <laughs> Georgie, I got the urine sample. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. I gotta go. Good boy. Good boy. You have a visitor. Oh. Hey, Georgie. Steven, hi. So, <laughs> just be in the kitchen if you need me. Uh, don't get too close. I'm contagious. I already had you box, so I'm not worried. Oh. Okay. So, um, are you looking forward to the dance? I don't think I'll be going. How come? If you're not going, neither am I. So if you're not busy, maybe we can hang out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure, okay. So what do you feel like doing? Uh, anything. Just talk to me. Anything to distract me from how itchy I am. When I had chicken pox, my mom made me wear a pair of oven mitts. Did it work? Oh, no. I still scratched. <laughs> <laughs>
starts with N. Yeah, impaled Pixie, helping is what I do. It's away, just in case it comes back. Splendid! I bid you welcome! I just wanted to stop by and thank you for your incredible bravery in coming to my rescue and... Uh, is something the matter? Matter? What could be the matter? <laughs> <sighs> so now you know my secret. I am not the fortress of bravery that everyone believes me to be. I am actually quite fearful of bugs. Yes, well, when you're a knight known for bravery, being scared is a bit of a problem.